Hickok 45 with the Bighorn Armory spike driver. Yep, still have it. You've seen it about four times. Thought we would try a range two video with it. A little bit longer range, uh, smaller targets. Uh, let's see, now what excuses can I come up with first? All right, it's a short gun, shooting a big powerful round, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, right? The front sight's a kind of a ball. When you look down it through the, uh, the ghost ring or the peep sight, it's pretty big <laughs> on whatever you're shooting at over there. It's not exactly a precision uh, long range sight, but I think it's pretty much on. I've taken a few shots, I've hit, I've missed. Uh, so I've got some ammo in my pocket and uh, when I run out, we'll quit. So we're gonna see how many we can hit over there, okay? Uh, I, I don't feel confident about uh, you know hitting everything, but I'm gonna take some shots over there anyway. Have a shot for a while. It, you know, it's a big old bruiser and it says like, why not? Okay, so we got the magazine loaded, but nothing in the chamber in the interest of time. So I'm gonna put one in the chamber. Always works best if you do that. And uh, get my ears on, we're pointed down range safely. So we'll go through kind of the usual uh, uh, routine over here. I'll start on that red plate up there, missing it. Let's see if I can hit more than I miss. That's the main thing. I think I went left. There we go. I'm not entirely sure it doesn't shoot just a hair to the left. I uh, might need to work on the sights. All right. Hey, let's try uh, that. We're starting to right. I thought I'd touch him at least. All right, moving on over. <sighs> Boy throws out a big one, I'll tell you. It's pretty powerful. 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum shooting some uh, fusion from Federal. Appreciate them supplying these big, ugly, cartridges they're not ugly actually they're quite pretty oh by the way I, I replaced the spring and the little uh, piece on the on the lever and it, it holds up better now still will drop down on me a little bit but it's working a little bit better okay. big old powerful round nothing like a lever gun I actually still don't prefer I don't like these bigger levers I know that's sacrilegious you know don't tell John Wayne or Lucas McCain, and who else? I mean, they've become pretty popular in a lot of ways, but uh, did I filter up? There we go, that's good enough. Uh, I just prefer a standard lever, to tell you the truth. All right, let's take our time. <sighs> John and I are not in a big hurry. It's a beautiful day, but I know you might be. So, all right, pick up where I left off missing. Terrible shot, and I knew it. That felt better. There we go. If I put that big white ball right on the target over there, it uh, it's pretty close. Went left too, didn't it? There we go. I'm trying to break the trigger uh, when I've got that sight towards the right edge. And I think I'm having a better outcome when I do that. <sighs> All right. I 
right. I think for sure when it hits it, it's going to knock it over. Wow. I'm not sure I can even see. I think there's two left. I knew that one off. Up, oh, click. I knew that one was off too. <laughs> All right. Let's load some more big torpedoes in it. Okay. So it might shoot just a hair to the left, which of course I can fix with the sights. I hadn't noticed that until I came over here, took a couple of shots, at, uh, and I was kind of trending leftward, put it that way. But I'm not going to mess with them today. Oops, I'll get that one. I'll probably have to fish it off the ground. I'll probably need it to, to finish up here. I think it'll hold one more. It holds seven in the magazine. That may be it. It just holds one in the chamber. Okay. All right. We might be here all night. Well, actually, we won't because I just have, uh, well, I think I brought 40 rounds of ammo. I think there's another one up there. I, I can't really see it. Bro. I'm going to go on down and hit the, uh, try to hit the two liter before I run out of ammo. It left him. <laughs> Popped him that time. I'll put one on the cinder. All right. Let's see if I can hit that red plate. Little red plate. Ooh, I think it went above it. Ah. Well, we're out of ammo, but I have more. I still have ammo. All right. Got to get the red plate. All right. I, I can see it pretty clearly. I have enough ammo to, to take them out. I think. I probably shouldn't say that. It's still dropping down on me a little bit there. Definitely better. Big old 500. There we go. Nothing like slinging big bullets at steel targets i tell you all right now if all goes well that would be enough to finish up here but we'll see all right take my time with this big bruiser <laughs> terrible Okay, uh, I think I'm going like left and low. Okay, I'm going to take my time, put this one on it. <laughs> that one went left. We got another one. There we go. Wow. Okay, I got the elevation right on that one, and I held on the right edge of <laughs> it. Well, we've got another round here. Let's go ahead and take one of these guys out. <laughs> 500 Magnum will do it. So let me put some more ammo in. How many rounds do you think it'll take me? Tell you what, if it takes more than two, I'm going to the house. Either way. All right. One, two. <laughs> that took care of it. 
All right, I knew I'd miss a little bit or a lot or, well, I knew I'd miss a little bit. Didn't think I'd miss that much. But yeah, I do need to adjust the sights a little bit on it. It uh, trends leftward and uh, got a big old white ball on that thing as a sight. So I don't know, I think I'm not feeling quite as steady as I uh, am some days. And that makes a big difference. Some days you shoot better than others. It's just that simple. And uh, I, don't know, I don't think it's a flinch factor. But I'll tell you one thing. You may not know this. I'm not making excuses for myself. I can come up with all kinds of really creative ones if I want to. But it, it's, a, it's a little bit of a contradiction in a way. You would think that a shorter, handier rifle, you could always shoot it better. Uh, you know, a lot of weight. Boy, that thing just feels good. It's kind of carbine length and pull her up and move it around really easily. But actually a longer rifle is uh is easier for me to to shoot well or to shoot uh so i came over here with my uh guy gun one time was shooting and plinking around over there and was having a little bit of trouble again uh, the length of it makes a difference for me uh, i do better with a old 20 24 inch barrel you know if i'm trying to pick off things that are a little bit smaller but now this is a great gun i mean it, you're over here steady taking your time uh got the sights where you want them you, you can hit what you want to hit and uh and for what it's designed for, you know, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. It's not designed for picking off little squares, you know, this far away, really. But a great rifle, and it's got good sights on it. Nothing like a Skinner sight, that's for sure. Again, kind of based on a Model 92 uh, 86. The Spike Driver, Range 2, uh, plenty of missing, and every one of those misses was on purpose. I just wanted you to feel better.